Quadrilaterals B, I, K, E, and G, O, L, F are graphed on the set of axes below. Describe a sequence of transformations that maps quadrilateral B, I, K, E onto quadrilateral G, O, L, F. So, understanding the uh, mapping here, B, I, K, E, mapping onto G, O, L, F, B corresponds with G, I corresponds with O, K corresponds with L, and E corresponds with F. It is important that you are aware of this, as this is not a simple translation moving to the left and right. So in order for us to map B, I, K, E onto G, O, L, F, there has to be a... Um, a reflection that takes place because uh, if you recall from your ge geometry studies uh, within the um, different types of rigid motions reflections is the only one that causes a change in the orientation if you look if you notice BIKE right now is uh, drawn in a counterclockwise orientation whereas GOLF is drawn in a clockwise orientation so in order for you to reorient the, um, the positioning of the vertices, we're going to have to perform a reflection. So I am going to draw in, using a different color here, I'm going to reflect uh, BIKE over the Y axis. And if I do, I'll end up with a shape that looks like this. It's deceiving because uh, this quadrilateral is a kite. And a kite has uh, two, one line of symmetry. Let me see here. So now that I've reflected it over the y-axis, I can now translate this uh, how many units up. Because I want B to correspond with G and so on and so forth, right? So let me see our two, four. I need to translate this five units up so five units okay so to satisfy the uh, this question here it says to describe a sequence of transformations that maps quadrilateral BIKE onto quadrilateral GOLF I'm going to perform a reflection over the y-axis followed by a translation of five units up and I'm going to be doing this for quadrilateral BIKE